television's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the popular actor soon to be seen in the film The Alphabet Murders with Anita Eckberg and Robert Morley, Mr. Tony Randall. A question I'm asked almost every single day is, is she as charming in life as she is on the show? Yes, Arlene Francis is. And now one of the beautiful additions to the successful television series, Trials of O'Brien, Miss Joanna Bonds. And on my left, the lucky publisher of the most talked about bestseller in 20 years, Truman Capote's In Cold Blood, Mr. Bennett Sir. It's another frightful night out. We have real blizzard conditions in New York tonight. And uh, this reminds me of a story about an old ancestor of John Daly's. His name was some Murgatroyd Daly, and he was one of the knights of the round table. And he used to go around killing dragons on a dog. He rode a St. Bernard dog instead of a horse. And one night he came to an inn, and there were no rooms, and he was leaving very crestfallen when the innkeeper relented and said, come in. I wouldn't put out a knight on a dog like this. <laughs> and here is some Megatroyd's oh, uh, oh, great-grandson, oh, John Charles Day. Oh, <laughs> Bennett, that's mindful of that other uh, story <laughs> about the two fellows that are up in the Alps in a great uh, snowstorm lost their way and they're about to expire and then over the crest of the nearest rise shows this great Saint Bernard with the cask of lifesaver under his neck and one says to the other oh there he is always golly isn't that wonderful man's best friend the other guy says yeah and brought by a dog yeah. <laughs> I'm even I'm even uh, panel we're going to play tricks again tonight you have to get your blindfolds on while you're doing it May I remind uh, our uh, friends and neighbors who are non-citizens of these United States that federal law requires that you must report your addresses each January, and cards to do so can be found in all of our post offices or immigration offices, and there is still time, albeit very little time, uh, to comply with the law. So those who are non-citizens, uh, remember that tomorrow you have a little job to do, which is to go to your immigration office or your post office and file your address. As I've noted, we're having a little departure again from our usual custom. We're going to have two mystery challenges tonight, and we'll meet our first as soon as I've determined whether the blindfolds are all in place. Are they, panel? Yes. 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 Already fine. Will our first mystery challenger enter and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, and when we are uh, confronted with a mystery challenger, we use a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we will begin it with uh, Arlene Francis. Are you in the arts? Mm-hmm. Miss Barnes? Are you known for playing romantic leads? Uh-uh. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I, I don't know whether you call baseball an art, but I know there are a lot of great ball players in town this week giving a prize to Sandy Koufax. Have you got anything to do with baseball? Uh-uh. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Randall. As a man in the arts, would you classify yourself as a performer, a doer? That's two questions, isn't it? Yeah. Are you a doer? Uh-huh. Yes, Miss Francis? 
Does that mean you are behind the scenes rather than uh, in front of the camera or the audience? Uh-huh. Miss Barnes? Yes. Was that yeah. a yes? Yes, that was a yes. Are you known for your work in uh, films and television predominantly? Uh-huh. Mr. Seraph? Are you a, either a producer or a director? Uh-huh. Mr. Randall? Are you a movie director? Uh-uh. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Well, by now, I think I detect the voice. Shall I take a chance, John? Sure. Are you the producer of a picture that is about to come into town, and you have done nothing but produced brilliant pictures, and the picture that is new is The Chase, and are you that inimitable producer, Sam Spiegel? Yes. I must say, uh, Arlene, you didn't paint the lily. I think uh, Bridge and the River Kwai won seven Oscars. Lawrence of Arabia won almost as many, if not as many, did it not? Seven. And uh, the chase opens here in New York on uh, uh, February 18th. February 18th, and I'm and sure that... Well, he looks like Sandy Koufax. He looks like Sandy <laughs> Koufax. I'm sorry my voice gave me away. <laughs> I, I tried not to guess it, but I know him too well not to know his voice. Yeah. Well, actually, I think, Mr. Spiegel, what, what hurt us was I'd hoped they'd get into television and beat their little heads against the wall in television for a long time, but they didn't do it. Uh, I must say that uh, these are all Columbia pictures, aren't they? Yes, they were released by Columbia. By Columbia. This was uh -huh. on the waterfront that had eight. Eight Oscars. John, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Spiegel speaks about eight languages, don't you, Sam? Well, Seven or eight? Yes, but... That doesn't help tonight. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, if you, didn't, if you don't mind, like, you know, you, you hear of people who are multilingual. What languages do you speak that you, you, know, you feel comfortable in? English, yeah. French, yeah. German, yeah. Italian, yeah. Spanish, yeah. Hebrew, yeah. But Is what language Israeli you Hebrew. In? Israeli Hebrew, that's safe. Polish, seven. Well, these are the languages I feel comfortable. That's Only all. seven? I think that's terrible. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Very nice of you to come here. <laughs> we'll have a, another contestant for you in just a moment after this word. And now, to meet a regular contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Joyce Roma. Right, ma'am? All righty. Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Roma? Mrs. Mrs. Roma, and where are you from? Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana. Good show. All right, Mrs. Roma, may I present the panel? Now, would you join me over here, please? And we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right. Panel, we can tell you that Mrs. Roma is salaried and deals in a product. And we will begin the general questioning with uh, Tony Randall. Is this product in any way connected with the principal industry of Indianapolis? I would like to think so. <laughs> principal industry yeah. is the 500-mile race. Yeah. Uh, oh, you just <laughs> hit yourself right <laughs> over the head. That will make it one down and nine to go. <laughs> All we'll right, rule Arlene. out those bracing cards yes. now. In other words, what we have answered, this is not connected yes. directly in any way with the Indianapolis... Uh, Mrs. Roma, is it a product that any of us on the panel might have? Yes. Is it a useful product? Yes. Is it a product that if one had it, it would be out for anyone to see rather than hidden away or underneath one's clothes? Yes. <laughs> um, is it something one could hold in one's hand? 
No. No, I don't think so. Two down, a date to go, Miss Barnes. This product is found in the home rather than outside of it? No. no. Oh. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Roma, I think the audience ought to know that you have beautiful red hair, which they can't see because it isn't in color, this child. But if it was in color, you'd see a mighty pretty head of red hair. Don't get That's carried away, Bennett. <laughs> my, my red hair. No, there's Mrs. no night to put a night on a heart, a dog, a heart. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Roma, uh, this product then is uh, usually used outdoors, is that correct? Yes. Is it, uh, as Steve Allen would say, larger than a bread box? Yes, it is. Is it used in any form of transportation? Yes. It is? Yes. Uh, has it got four wheels? No. Uh, no, that's four down and six to go, Mr. Randall. Is the transportation with which it's connected land transportation? Yes. Is it in any way connected with the automotive industry? Oh, I would think we would have to yes, agree, taking the whole industry as a uh, general category, that it has a relationship, yes. Could it be described as part of a car? No. No. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Do people get into or on this means of locomotion? On. Uh, is it particularly useful if there are mountains or hills? No, I don't think so. I think we would do you a grave disservice if we were I'm to answer sure, that question John. in the affirmative. It's useful, certainly, when such uh, uh, obstacles are there, but I don't think it has such a particular characteristic. You don't want me to tell you what I was thinking of. Yeah, why don't you tell me what you were thinking of? I was thinking of those things that go up on ski... The, cable, the cable ski runs. poles? Is that what you were thinking of? Thanks no. a lot, yeah, that's John. rock. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of skiing, Mrs. Roma, is there anything seasonal about this product? No. No. Oh. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Roma, you said the product didn't have four wheels. Has that any wheels at all? Yes, it does. Uh, and it is vaguely connected with the automotive business, you said? Would it have anything to do with that roller derby that they have? In well, then, before you finish this question or its answer, not vaguely, we said that if you take the whole category of, of the automotive world, that it belongs in there, definitely, Bennett, not, not vaguely. All right. So you has might got, want to reform your question. Has it got two question. wheels? Yes. It has two wheels. Is it, in any sense, a trailer? No. no. That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Randall. Is it, in any sense, a bicycle? No, that's nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Can we rule out a motorcycle? A motorcycle? A, motor motor a motorcycle? Can you rule out a motorcycle? A no, it is you, a motorcycle. you can't rule out a motorcycle. <laughs> Mr. Randall, you, you have an objection to Lodge? A small one, yes. I said, is it in any way a bicycle? Oh, I well, I, I like see that? what you... I, I think that the differentiation the between... Is a bicycle with a motor. Is a bicycle with a motor. Well, I think that the argument has some merit, but the ruling still stands. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no. We've never we never... a ruling in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Mrs. Romer is with Honda of Indianapolis. What tickles me is she demonstrates and sells these um, Honda motorcycles. Uh, which um, are extremely popular in, yes, the, in the, the East United States. Nice. Is it because the, you have a, a low price, or, or you have a big price span? There's a large span in the price range. Uh, young people mostly, or? Uh, of all age, a lot oh, of college boys. Age, yeah. Well, you see them in New York, actually, a good deal. You find the people buzzing back and right. forth because the traffic is getting difficult in the parking spaces. Thank you very much, Mrs. Thank Roman. You. Nice to have the panel stuck. second mystery guest in just a moment, but first... And now for the second special feature of tonight's program, we have to ask the panel if the blindfolds are in place once again. Yeah. They are? Good. Will our second mystery challenger enter and sign in, please?
once again, of course, we go back to the other form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we will begin with uh, Miss Barnes. Are you by any chance a performer in the field of sports? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. I had Koufax on the brain tonight. Yeah. Uh, I did too. Are you then in some form of the entertainment world? Yes, I uh, am in the entertainment field, yes. Mr. Randall? I presume by that superb accent that you're a native-born American. <laughs> Yes, Tony, you're right. <laughs> Miss Francis? Uh, do you sing? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, at times, yes. But I would say that uh, properly, we, we would have to admit that uh, that is true, but it should not be given too much weight. Miss Barr. Are you a leading man in films and television? Uh, yes. Mr. Sir? Are you what might be called the romantic type? Yeah. <laughs> Who was that? No, no. Well, I think here, Bennett, you have reference to romantic leads, i.e. Yes. a lead in whom the heroine would take an instant... The fellow who gets the girl. Yeah, I think we'd have to say yes to that. Mr. Randall. Are you now, or are you about to, appear in the Broadway area? No. Uh, well, now, wait, we got to have a small thumb. A terrible sentence. <laughs> or are you, you, when you say the Broadway area, would you define exactly the category that you have reference to? <laughs> I meant somewhere between the Atlantic and the Mississippi River. <laughs> but in what, it, in, in what category of entertainment? Hmm. I meant in a movie or play. That's, I must be honest. Oh, fine. I meant in a movie that's, or actually, that's all I wanted. To do. You did mean movie or play. In yes. which event you'd get a yes. Miss Francis? Yes. Can we narrow that down to a movie? Yes. Miss Barnes? Have you ever at any time played a running part in a television series? Yes. Mr. Sir? Uh, have you ever made a picture? With Alfred, for help, Alfred Hitchcock. No. No. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Randall. <laughs> Tell me. Are you, uh, yes. <laughs> are you, uh, are you well known on the Broadway stage as well as movies? Uh, we would say yes. With a, you know, we don't want to mislead you. Miss Francis? What do you mean? By that, do you mean that uh, our, our mystery guest may have earlier on in his career appeared on the Broadway stage and then went to pictures and hasn't come back to us? Hmm. Everybody's gone home. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, it was the other way around. It's the other, oh, you've been in pictures, but now you're going to be on the Broadway stage. Well, no, what we admit now is that uh, has been in pictures and has been on the Broadway stage. Oh. How are you? Okay, Miss Bond? I'm very, very confused. Do you, have you up until this time, up until your Broadway engagement, made your home in California? Yes. Mr. Sir? Do you ever do any dancing in your pictures? <laughs> Uh, not really, no. Not really. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Randall. Vo I'm so close to that voice, and it's just uh, tantalizing me. Have we ever worked together? Yes. <laughs> Miss Francis? <laughs> Some place between the Mississippi and the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> well, no, you've I'm worked sure. with so many. Um, well, are you in New York because you are about to open in a new motion picture? Yes. Miss Barr. Oh. I'm absolutely up. Uh, <laughs> could be one of a number it's of It's lovely. 
<laughs> Thank you, whoever you are. Um, are you in any way involved with Mr. Spiegel's picture? No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Might the picture in which you're involved be called The Flight of the Phoenix? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Randall. Was it a picture made in Italy? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. I'm suffering, so it isn't. It's not David Niven. No, it's not yeah. a David Niven. That's yeah, seven down that's and three right. to go, Miss Barr. Right. I'm suffering. We're Kathy all suffering, I think. I'm no. suffering too. <laughs> Is the picture in which you're about to open a comedy? Uh, in a way. Not really. <laughs> but I think that's a good answer, in a way. There's, there's a lot of humor, Mr. Sir. Is the picture in which you're about to open one of those uh, spy detective story pictures? Oh. It's not a spy. Not a spy. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Story. Randall. May I rule out Rock Hudson? Yes. Nobody can rule out my <laughs> All right, Arlene. I'm going to pass. Miss Vaughn? Well, I think the better part of valor would be to pass, but I'll, I'll take a stab. Have you ever made a film with Debbie Reynolds? No. That's oh. nine down and one to go, Mr. Oh. Sir. Is the mystery picture in which you're about to appear <laughs> called Ten Little Indians? Yes. Hey, Mr. Hugh O'Brien. Yes. Yeah. I thought Tony had it. Yeah. Oh, I thought that. Very good. 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 What a disguise. Yeah. What I find most distinguished about Hugh right now is not the Ten Little Indians is opening here too, February 9th, to be sure. And it's, I'm sure it's going to be a great picture because it's a wonderful story. But I'm more interested in the fact he's come back from Vietnam. And uh, with, you know, if you don't mind, would you just, just tell us a little bit of what you saw, what you, what you think? <coughs> well, it's... Uh, the greatest experience of, uh, of my life, I uh, spent two weeks there just before Christmas. I went in alone and was able to uh, visit areas where civilians had never been before because I did go in alone. We went by helicopter and uh, I, I just wish there was some way that the public uh, could possibly get there themselves or uh, be better informed to what our men are doing uh, besides fighting the war, because the uh, thing that really touched me and the thing that I'm very excited about as a citizen is the civilian uh, work that they're doing in the communities that they do pacify. These people that they uh, are uh, working with over there have never known what it was to have an, uh, the next meal to look forward to, much less a government that they could count upon. And uh, our boys, when they've gone into an area, have done such a fantastic uh, good in the civil actions work that they've done, not only uh, <clears throat> working with the people as far as giving them first aid uh, uh, and health uh, treatment, but also teaching them and helping them to establish local governments uh, and giving them a, a sense of pride in themselves uh, and in the government, which uh, uh, the majority of them are behind at this point. And it was a great experience and one which uh, I'm deeply grateful as a citizen to have been part of. Well, thank you, Hugh. And uh, Wednesday night... <laughs> Wednesday night, I should cap this off by saying Wednesday night he was at the White House for dinner. Thanks for coming to see us <laughs> after such distinguished company. Thank you. Thank you. done very well tonight, even if we did nearly stick you, and uh, we'll all be back after this word. Miss Joanna, nice to have you with us, and I uh, hope we see you again soon, and Tony, you were great tonight, and good yes, night. Yes, as ever. And good <laughs> night, Mr. Randall. <laughs> Not one yes all evening long. I've kept my record pure. <laughs> good night, Arlene.
<laughs> I'd say yes to you. Anytime. Excuse me, Martin. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night Bennett. You find this little thing you're a pretty girl like this. Good night, Sir Moigatroyd. Good night, Sir Poignant. <laughs> and thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Life. What's My Life? A CBS Television Network production in association with Mark.